worship you, to see you, you are Alpha and Omega, oh, oh, you are Alpha and Omega, my Lord, I worship you, you are Alpha, you are Alpha and Omega, oh, oh, you are Alpha and Omega, I worship you today. I worship you today. And I give you all the praise, Lord. I give you all the praise. I give you all the praise, Lord. I give you all the praise. I worship you today. I worship you today. I worship you today. I worship you today. doesn't matter how the times and the seasons change. God remains God. His promises remain. Oh, what a good God we have. Yes, oh God. I hope this song will speak what you feel in your heart. Because he is what we need. Oh God, oh God, yes. I need thee, oh I need 
defense, my righteousness, oh God, how I need. Help me say this one more time. I need thee, oh, I need thee. Yeah. Defense, my right. Oh Lord, oh God, how I need. Oh, I need thee. I need. Oh, I need thee. Yeah. Every hour, I.
Jésus, je baise de toi, mon cœur soupire après toi, je suis vie quand tu n'es pas là. Je vais ta présence. Just be blessed as you listen to these words. Jésus, je baise en de toi. Let the words minister to you. Mon âme soupire après toi. And even if you don't know the words, let them je just minister to you still. Quand tu n'es pas là, Hallelujah. je vais ta présence tout le temps. Jésus, Jésus, je baise en de toi. Mon âme soupire après toi. Je suis vide quand tu n'es pas là. Je vais te présenter tout le temps. Jésus, Jésus, je baise de toi. Mon âme soupire après toi. Je suis vide quand tu n'es pas là. Je vais te présenter tout le temps. Jésus, Jésus, je baise de toi. Mon âme. Soupir après toi, je suis vide quand tu n'es pas là. Je vais ta présence tout le temps. Jésus, Jésus, je vais en de toi. Mon âme, soupir après toi. Je suis vide quand tu n'es pas là. Je vais ta présence tout le temps. Jésus, Jésus, je vais en de toi. Mon âme soupire après toi, je suis vide quand tu n'es pas là, je vais ta présence tout le temps. Jésus, Jésus, je baise de toi, mon âme soupire après toi, je suis vide quand tu n'es pas là, je vais ta présence tout le temps. Je veux ta présence tout le temps, Jésus. Je veux ta présence tout le temps. Je veux ta présence tout le temps, Jésus. Je veux ta présence tout le temps. Je veux ta lumière tout le temps, Jésus. Je veux ta présence tout le temps. Moi, je veux ta présence tout le temps, Jésus. Je veux ta présence tout le temps. Ah, je veux ta présence tout le temps, Jésus. Je veux ta présence tout le temps. Et je veux ta lumière tout le temps, Jésus. Je veux ta présence tout le temps. Jésus, Jésus, je baise de toi. Mon âme. Après toi, je suis vide quand tu n'es pas là. Je veux ta présence. Jésus, je baise de toi. Mon âme soupire après toi. Je suis vide quand tu n'es pas là. Je veux ta présence. Ta présence tout le temps, je présence tout le temps. Plus de toi, c'est plus de toi. Moi, je veux, je veux, je veux plus de toi. C'est plus de toi, Jésus. Plus de toi, plus de toi, Jésus. Je veux plus. Say more of you, more of you, more of you, more of you, I need more of you. I want more of you, more of you, more of you, more of you. I want more. 
Jesus, I need you every morning. Oh, oh, oh. I need you now, here now. This grace for heart, sing my God. Church, let it be our cry this morning. I need you, Lord. I need you, Jesus. Thank you. Just one minute, forget about everything. Can we tell from the bottom of our heart, Lord, tonight, this morning I am here. I need you. I need you, Jesus, this morning. Hallelujah. Beloved church, in spite of what we have been going through, our permanent solution is Jesus. Tell the Lord, this morning I am desperate for you, O God. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Lord, this beautiful Sunday morning, we humble our lives before you, O God. When we look back, oh God, past eight months of this year, you stood with us. Lord, you watched over us. You directed our footsteps, oh God, to see the first day, the Lord's day of the eighth month of 2024. And you allowed us to be in your sanctuary to worship you and glorify you. Thank you, Lord, for that, oh Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for that. Thank you, for Jesus, for that, oh God. This morning as we are here, oh God, we commit the India House of Prayer family. We pray for all our congregation with their various challenges and issues they are going through this morning. We lift everything to your hands, oh Jesus, oh God. You are the God who knows what we go through. Lord, we pray you shall open the floodgates of heaven, oh God. Those who need a healing touch, you are touching them, oh God. Those who need a breakthrough, you are giving them the breakthrough. Those who need a light, you are sending the light, oh God. Those who need an angelic visitation, you are visiting them, oh God. Those who need a word, you are speaking to the maga those who need a restoration you are restoring the maga those who need a financial dodge you are restoring the maga those who need a visitation upon their lives upon their health upon their salvation oh god today there is a visitation oh jesus father we also commit our nation zambia in the hand of jesus father thank you for our president every leaders whom who have appointed this nation to rule oh god we pray you shall bless them, O oh God. And we also speak a blessing upon every citizen, everyone in this land, O oh Jesus, O oh God, especially in this season of drought, we pray, O oh God, the heaven is going to open for us, O oh God. You are releasing your showers of blessing upon our nation. And, O oh God, we commit 
There are different nationalities who are representing in also prayer. The nations they are representing a God. We pray your grace. Wherever there's wars and calamities our people are going through, we pray your peace, oh God. We know one thing. Lord, these are the sign, the second coming of Jesus is imminent. Prepare our hearts, oh God. You also pray, God, where there is no freedom to worship you in truth and spirit. Lord, you say it. The heart of a king is like a water course. You direct the way you want to God. You pray. You shall touch the religious political leaders and open the doors for your kingdom of God. We also pray for the peace and protection over the land, nation of Jerusalem, O God. Bless, O God. This morning we commit all of us. Lord, especially we pray for those who are mourning. We pray for Chile Shadak and the family, O God. We pray the peace and comfort shall be upon them, O God. Those who could not make it this Sunday morning with the various nations and their reasons, wherever they are, Lord, touch them. Bless them, O God. We commit the rest of the service in the hand of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Please take your seat. Praise the Lord and good morning, church. Praise the Lord. The Lord is good all the time. And that is His. Amen, amen. If you truly believe that is the nature of the Lord and you experience, can we give a wonderful clap offering to appreciate our awesome, loving God? Hallelujah. What a wonderful God. What a blessed God. Hallelujah. Are we excited to be in the house of God? When we look back past seven months, the Lord has been with us. Today we are on the first day and the Lord's day of the September. What a wonderful God. As we truly appreciate to God and you are happy to see, look at your neighbor. If you look at him or her, who he is or she is. If you know that person, if you don't know, just give a waving at that brother or sister, a high five and tell my brother and sister, my dad, my mom, my children, I am blessed to see you this morning in the house of God. Hallelujah. 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 When, when we are in the house of God, there is joy. When we are in the house of God, there is wonderful fellowship. So may God's blessings, may God's fellowship be upon each one of us. Amen. Let me take this wonderful and blessed opportunity to welcome you all to this beautiful Sunday morning. May God bless you. We are so honored and blessed to have you as we welcome everyone. If it's your first time to attend the Sunday service in house of prayer, anyone here, would you please stand? We would like to acknowledge and appreciate anyone here. Uh, we have a dad there, please remain standing. Amen. If we have a brother at the back, may God bless you. Uh, we have a brother, thank you. If you have received a welcome card, please be seated. May God bless you. We highly appreciate our visitors. You make a very big difference in the church. When you leave that comment on the visitor's sleep, when we go through, it makes us so glad. It makes us to appreciate God for what he's doing. May God bless you. We always say, if you are just visiting with us, take a warm and wonderful, blessed greetings to your family, your own church. May God bless you. We are looking forward to fellowship with you again. May God's blessing be upon you. May God bless you. Maybe. You are new, you are relocated to Indola for the past few months or maybe over a year you have been going to different churches to search for a family church as a part of the search this Sunday morning. You are here as a house of prayer family. We have a good news. The good news is your search has come to an end. We are Bible-believing Pentecostal church. As you worship uh, with us, we will let you know the vision and the mission the Lord has given to us. We will be able to finish, accomplish together. As you received a welcome card, please flip it over. There's a perforation part. Please kindly fill your detail. Don't hand it over everything. After filling, tear it. And may God bless you. May the Lord bless you. We will be in touch with you. May God bless you. We are also happy to see, uh, have our dad and mom of uh, Vanessa, our sister. Welcome, dad and mom visiting from Kitwe. May God bless you. May God bless you. And also I have seen Pastor Christian. 
only one Christian pastor in the entire universe uh, from Swaziland. Welcome, man of God. We are blessed to have you. May God bless you. May God bless you. All of you are here. May those who are away and you are back, may God bless you. Amen. Let's quickly look at our bulletin page two for our upcoming events. We have all the men's ministry, our men's retreat at Insobe Camp coming on September 28th. Then Youth Sunday is on, uh, September 29th. And our seven days of our third quarter prayer and fasting is beginning from 30th to October 6th. So please mark it in your diary. Uh, a calendar, we are this will be the time we are seeking the God again for God's blessing as the, every theme is in the bar, in our bulletin. Then Women's Sunday in October 13, Children's Sunday in October 27, Men's Sunday is November 23rd, and the mission trip to Kasama, tell your neighbor, mission trip to Kasama is on. Ah, you are scared. Tell the neighbor, mission trip to Kasama. Pastor is not coming to ask money. Don't worry. You can tell. Mission trip to Kasama is on. Ask your neighbor, are you praying? Uh, at least that one is the sound. <laughs> so please, this is the time we'll be going to Kasama. Uh, to, and we will be, if I'm not mistaken, we will be conducting a big meeting of 2,000 people at the chiefs near to the chief palace and chief will be with us. Is it the chief? chief what, what chief is that? Chief? Dimukulu, uh -huh. sorry, forgive me. If the chief also must forgive me for, so there will be a big gathering. We need a God's protection, God's anointing, and God's provision of hundred thousand kwacha. Tell your neighbor, God has provided, and tell your neighbor, God is using you to provide. <laughs> I know that we won't speak. May God bless you. God, you have been a faithful. May God bless you. In relation with all the Sundays, our men's ministry Sunday, youth Sunday, children Sunday, ladies Sunday. So there are men are meeting, women are meeting, youth are meeting and the youth Sunday is coming this month. So please immediately after the service, they will be taking over here to do their rehearsal. So we humbly request our moms and dads, please look locate our upstairs and here so that it won't disturb. Otherwise, if you are not affected by the sound of worship practice, you are free to sit because they have only a few Sundays for their youth service. May God bless you. May the Lord bless you. So the youths are requested to remain for the practice. The ladies are requested to remain and our men are requested to remain. The rest of all the activities are at the back of the bulletin. Please kindly uh, look at, I am not going to read because of the Holy Communion and all other things. And the God has, uh, yesterday one of our church members has blessed house of prayer with a very excellent latest double door fridge. It is in the kitchen, amen. And uh, God has been... The fridge we had was we, Godfrey and David were keeping by faith. And the faith was so hot in the morning it takes the uh, drinks boils. And God answered David and Godfrey's prayer. We got a very bright, nice fridge and even a very beautiful table here. If you could see there, there are some chairs. And may God bless uh, all the families, God who have blessed. And also, I think I should mention, I thought I will not mention, the same brother has blessed a pastor and family with, uh, I think, 16 or 65 inch TV. <laughs> with a full, uh, what do you call it, uh, movie, the, uh, sound, home theater. So, yesterday was the day of blessing. May God bless you. May the Lord bless the family. May God's blessings continue to flow on each one of you. Every single seed you planted in the kingdom of all of you, God is going to reward you thousandfold. Thousandfold. May God bless you. That's all the announcements for today. Uh, anyone's birthday falls this week, would you please stand? Anyone's birthday falls this week? 
Amen. Amen. And also, I think I should not, I, there's one more announcement. I think I didn't announce in the church, but uh, I think the most of the leaders of the house of prayer know. Uh, Thursday night, my wife undergone an operation in India. Uh, so, uh, she, God willing, today she will be discharged from the hospital. So, Pearl and Nathaniel will be back 22nd of this month. So, if you don't see Pearl and Nathaniel, not I have chased. So they will be back on 22nd. Thank you all those who prayed. Uh, her operation was successful this morning. She sent me the doctor came and uh, they are doing the final uh, preparation for home. Thank you church for your prayer. May God bless you. Thank you. Who's birthday? It's okay. No? And uh, those who are married, somebody's birthday there. Ah, Amen to hallelujah. Amen. Now I know why grandparents are here. Pastor is also sneaking. Those who are married and your wedding anniversary falls this week, would you please stand? We would like to pray for you. Um, those who are married. Let's pray. Father, we are so grateful to you. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you, Jesus, for all the great things you have done. Thank you for this wonderful people, our mom. And especially our son and our two wonderful daughters whom you are blessed house of prayer. And today, these two families rejoice. We also rejoice and celebrate with them, oh God. We rejoice and celebrate with them. Father, these are a great asset in the kingdom of God, specifically to the house of prayer family. And we pray, God, we declare the blessing of Jesus. We declare God's grace. We declare God's favor. We declare God's anointing upon these people. In the season of divine empowerment and expansion in Christ, may God's special blessing be upon them. Everything they are praying, especially our children, our young people, Lord, their future, their destiny, their career is blessed. They shall be the best in this land because they belong to you, O God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So we bless them with many, many blessed years. In the name of Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name, amen. Let's put our hands together. Appreciate it. May God bless you. At this moment, we release the Sunday school children, along with the teachers and the parents. May God bless you. Thank you, parents. As I always remind you, don't leave your children at home to watch the TV or cartoon. Let, bring them here. Let them be blessed. May God bless you. Are we happy to sit when we see churches painted? Are we happy? Let's give a clap offering to the Lord. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. The glory has changed. Now, soon our carpet is coming. Carpet is already here. It's already here. Carpet is here. Only we are waiting for everything to finish. May God bless you. May thank you. Thank you, house of prayer. It is your effort, your sacrificial giving. It is your devotion and dedication that made us to be here. All the glory go to God. And as we celebrate, all of us shall harvest. We shall all see God's blessing. May God bless you. Amen. This morning, next Sunday onward, I will take up the pulpit. This Sunday, we are blessed to have one of my closest friends here in Pentecostal Assemblies of God, Zambia, and has been here for a many time. Uh, Livingston POG Church in Fatima area. Pastor uh, Reverend uh, Derek Seknika is a wonderful man of God. And most of, many of you know him very well, an anointed servant of God. And he's going to minister the word of God. Pastor, we are so blessed to have you. Let's put our hands together. Welcome the servant of God to come and minister the word of God.
Hallelujah. We can do better than that, amen? Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Shall we just put our hands together as we will come the praises of the Lord in this place in the name of Jesus. We thank God. We worship you, Lord. We give you the praise. Hallelujah. Uh, first and foremost, I just want to recognize the presence of the Lord in this place, which is so heavy here. Hallelujah. I thank God for this church. It's a wonderful church. Very powerful a church of impact. We appreciate God for you people. Amen. Hallelujah. Secondly, I just want to recognize the presence of our pastor, Pastor John. Thank you so very much, sir, for extending your invitation once again to invite me to come and minister the word of the Lord here at House of Prayer. Hallelujah. Shall we thank God for our pastor here? <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Again, I just want to recognize the presence of uh, the board members, our board members. We thank you for agreeing with the pastor to invite me to come and preach the word of the Lord. I recognize your prayer of your church committee. I'm saying God bless you so very much. Hallelujah. Church members, I also want to appreciate your presence. I recognize your presence for accepting me to come and minister to you the rema word of the Lord. Hallelujah. You are such a blessing. May God bless you so very much. And I just want to run over the protocol as well by recognizing some public officials present here uh, from the government. If you are here, you are a public figure. I recognize your presence. Uh, prominent businessmen in the city of Ndola. I recognize your presence in this place. Hallelujah. God richly bless us all as we share the word of the Lord together to the glory of the Lord. Hallelujah. So shall we pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray, O oh God Almighty, and thank you for the gift of this new day that you have given unto us. For indeed, O oh God, it is yet another day in which we shall be glad and we shall rejoice in it, O oh God. Thank you for the gift of life that you have given unto us, that God, we may come, O oh God, before your mercy seat and dine with you, O oh God, from your dining table and feed from you, O oh Lord, so that we may be nourished spiritually in the name of Jesus. I pray that as I begin to minister your word, no single one of us shall resist oh God, the inspiration and the wisdom of the Holy Ghost. I come before you, Lord, as our porter. I thank you that, Lord, I'm just clay. I bring, oh Lord, my lips of clay unto you. That may you anoint them, O oh God, so that I may speak, Lord, uh, the rema way, not the logos way, uh, but rema way from above, uh, the way that to bring transformation to our lives and to our destinies. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father, that you sent forth your word and your word healed us. Uh, let your word, O oh God, to come with the power and heal our lives. I pray that every song, I pray that every word that shall be spoken here, the song that shall be sung here, my Father, my God, prayer that shall be offered here shall be done to the glory of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because you are God and there is no one like you. I give you the praise and the honor and the adoration. Now, Yahweh, we surrender now our hearts unto you. That God touch our hearts, oh God, with your touch. And open up 
our hearts so cold so that your presence may enter now in our hearts and give us give us the divine ability of God to hear and to apply your word in our lives in Jesus so that at the end of the ministration of your word all the glory shall get back to you oh God in the blessed name of our Lord Jesus Christ we have prayed with a lot of thanksgiving in our hearts as every saint agrees upon together and says amen and amen hallelujah Shall we give the Lord a big cup of offering? Praise be to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved church house of prayer. I don't want to, uh, to spend much of your time, to waste much of your time. I know the pastor has given me the time limit. And I'll be able to operate within that time frame. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So just greet your neighbor, say, neighbor, you're in the right place. You are in the right place. I believe the Lord is going to bless us in a mighty way. Hallelujah. Are you ready to receive the blessings from the Lord above? Hallelujah. If you are ready, just wave to Jesus. Just wave to Jesus. As I greet you all now with the love of Jesus. Hallelujah. So today, beloved, without wasting much of our time, I want to share with you over the theme that I have entitled Becoming a Church with an Impact. That is our theme today. Becoming a Church with an Impact. And our today's reading is coming from the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 9, verse 35 to 36. Someone can read for us. Becoming a church with an impact. Call the church has gone on a honeymoon for so long. We are not seeing any power of God in the church. We are not seeing any God's miracles in the church. That's why God is calling the church to go back to our what? To our Pentecostal roots uh, and begin to walk in the miracles of God. God wants the church to be a church with an impact. House of prayer. If you did not know, I have come to announce to you that this church is a church with an impact. In, in, in case you did not know, I want you to know this church is a church with an impact. Hallelujah. Clap for yourself because you are a church with an impact. Hallelujah. I don't care what the devil is thinking about this church, but what I know that is a church of impact. Hallelujah. Let the devil be with the, his own programs. Devil is a liar. He has been a liar from the beginning. He has never won the battle. He has always been losing the battle. If I was the devil, I could have stopped a long way troubling God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Matthew 9, verse 35 to 36. Hallelujah. May God bless the reading of his word. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. So, beloved, the author who wrote the book of Matthew is Matthew himself, the apostle. Now, he is teaching us these words so that we can get to know that Jesus is looking for a church that has an impact. Jesus Christ is teaching us to become a church with an impact. That's the desire of the Lord over the church. Now these words, Jesus Christ was directing them to the Jews. 
the audience at that particular time, they were the Jews. Now Jesus is communicating these words to us today. Today we are the audience. Today these words, they are being directed to us. That God wants every church, wherever it is operating, in every locality where the church is, the desire of God is that the church must be a church with an impact. That's what Jesus Christ is encouraging us in this portion of scripture. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a wonderful portion of scripture. The word of the Lord declares to say, and Jesus went now in all the cities and villages. I am happy that they have mentioned the village here because if they had not mentioned the village, then I was going to disqualify myself because I am preaching from a rural setup. But now, because village has been mentioned here, so I qualify. To preach the word of the Lord uh, even here. Why? Because I have received the mandate from heaven above in the name of, of Jesus. And the word of the Lord says, uh, Jesus went now in towns, uh, in cities, uh, and villages, uh, preaching and teaching uh, the gospel of the kingdom of God. Told. And now he was not only preaching uh, the gospel and teaching the gospel, but he was also moving in the God's supernatural power to heal the sick uh, from their sicknesses uh, and diseases. And the word of the Lord uh, goes on to say, and when Jesus saw now the multitude, uh, he was moved now with compassion uh, and he said, uh, my God, uh, the harvest is ready, but the laborers are few. So Jesus Christ was moved with compassion when he saw the crowd, the multitude who were following him. Now when the weight of the Lord says he was moved with compassion, it means that he felt the pity over the people. He sympathized with the people. Why? Because Jesus saw that there was no what? Spiritual leadership. No spiritual leadership. And he felt pity with them. Hallelujah. So Jesus was looking at a church that can be impactful in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the word of the Lord says he was teaching and he was preaching. Ah, there is a connection there between text and context because when you are teaching it means you are explaining the truth and when you are preaching it means you are proclaiming the truth that is the difference so he was explaining the truth and proclaiming the truth and the bible says he was even healing the sick from their diseases and sicknesses. Now preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God and doing what? Teaching the gospel of the kingdom of God and healing the sick. These are the programs of the gospel. That's why the church, we need to be preaching the weight of the Lord. That shall be accompanied with the demonstration of the power of the Lord. The church, we must not only be shouting, we must not only be worshiping God, we should also be walking in God's supernatural miracles. That is the duty of the church. Hallelujah. 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 So now, from this portion of scripture that we have just learned, Jesus Christ is teaching us, he's encouraging us, and he's compelling us to be a church that must be impactful in the communities where we are. 
God is counting upon you as house of prayer in this Watkanini community that God wants this church to rise up and impact the community of Watkanini with what the gospel of the kingdom of God. Every one of us, we must get on board. Every one of us must get involved in this agenda of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are part and parcel of the winning team. Hallelujah. Are you part of this church which is making an impact in the community of Kanini? If you are one of them, then you must bring every stone to this church now. The stone that we are God is going to use. Bring your stones so that God now can use your stones now to build this church in the church of impact. It is happening here at Kanini. It is happening here at House of Prayer. Hallelujah. If it is happening, shout with a loud amen. Hallelujah. We thank God for who he is. We praise the name of the Lord. Now what is the biblical definition of kingdom impact? What is the biblical definition? Because we are saying we want to be a church that will make an impact where? In the house of prayer. God wants to use this church to turn Kanini upside down for Jesus. Hallelujah. Shout and say, Lord, use me. Use me, Lord, to turn Kanini upside down to the glory of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So now the word kingdom impact simply means it is a concrete change that does what? That should be conformed upon the what? Upon God's redemptive plans for all what? For the renewal of the fallen world. What I'm trying to say here is that if God is to use this church, listen to me. If God is to use this church to impact Kanini with the gospel of salvation, with the gospel of the kingdom, first of all, as a church, we need to allow God to pass us through a transformation of what system so that when God transforms our lives simultaneously, he can use us now to transform what Kanini and what house of prayer and Kanini community for Jesus so that we may rise up and go now into the compound of Kanini and impact Kanini with what? With the gospel of what? Of the kingdom of God. That is the whole meaning of being an impactful church. Hallelujah. So God is counting on us. Hallelujah. He's counting on us. First of all, God cannot use us as agents of change. God cannot use us to impact Ghanini community with the gospel of the kingdom of God. If we don't have the passion, if we don't have the vision, if we don't have the mission of what God has told us to do. We can't. It doesn't happen like that. Hallelujah. That's why we need to change. Our mindset. I am sick and tired of always listening about assemblies of God making statements that we are a bigger church. We are more than 2,000 plus. But the question is, where you are? Are you relevant to the community where you are? Where you are? Are you making an impact as assemblies of God? Are you doing that? Don't just brag over increased membership to God that is nothing. We are a big church, more than 2,000 plus. 
Watch and watch. Watch and watch. You can talk and talk until the sun goes down. But the Lord is saying, where you are as assemblies of God, are you relevant to the community? Are you making an impact in the area where you are? Failure to that. Then we are a church that is going nowhere. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So my dear daughter, it's not about bragging over what increased members. Listen to me. A church with an impact does not brag about increased membership. But we must be there to promote improvement in all the dimensions of the church's life in the name of Jesus. We need to check our lives. So we are there to promote improvement in all the dimensions of the church's life. Hallelujah. And at the same time, we need to be seen within the framework of God's what purposes over humanity, over what, over the world, over cosmos. Listen to me, beloved. As a church, if you are saying house of prayer, we are a church of impact. What we need to do now is to take, my dear pastor, take the kingdom of God from God and take it where? To our homes. Take it where? To our working places, marketplaces, in the streets, and to all the communities and impact the communities with the gospel of the kingdom of God. That's what it means to be a church with an impact. Not storytelling. No, we are the first Pentecostal church in Zambia. So what? Where is your impact? Hallelujah. Where is our impact? As assemblies of God. We need to rise up from our sleep and begin to do the supernatural in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, when we want to become, listen to me, church. When we want to become a church with an impact, there's always a starting point. I'm saying there's always what? Starting point. And the starting point is to have a motivating vision. Do we have a vision? We need to, to have a motivating vision. There's always a starting point. If you want to become a church with an impact. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The starting point is the reign of God. Reign, Jesus, reign. Reign, Jesus, reign. Jesus. Come on, sing again, reign, Jesus, reign. Yes, run. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Judah, re. Come on, tell your never say, let Jesus reign. Let Jesus reign in your life, in your marriage, in your career, in your finances, in your business. Yes, let Jesus reign in your work. Let Jesus reign. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So listen now. The starting point, if we are 
a church that is to be impactful. The starting point is the reign of Jesus. Listen to me, church. When Jesus begins to reign over the church, what will happen? The church will begin to make a right and devotional relationship with your God. And when we do that now, it means that now we shall also do what? We shall also know what we are supposed to be doing in the localities where we are. Because Jesus is reigning over our lives. Jesus is reigning over the church. When Jesus reigns over the church, my God, that church will learn to understand the purposes of the Lord over the community where they are. And that will die. when that gets to happen, the church will rise up and do the mission of the Lord. What is the mission of the Lord? Is to take the gospel of the kingdom of God and impact the communities where we are without kingdom, without what? Without gospel. That is the meaning of being impactful. So when Jesus reigns the ch over the church, the church begins to do what of the passion for the work of the Lord. The church again begins to make a right and devotional relationship with the Lord. And when we begin now to have a right and devotional relationship with the Lord, it means that now we understand as a church the purpose of God over the community where we are. And when you understand the purpose of God over the community where you are, as a church, listen to me, the entire of house of prayer will rise up and carry out the mission of the Lord. What is the mission of the Lord? Is to impact this community with the gospel of the kingdom of God as Jesus Christ has declared in Matthew 9, verse 5 to 36. Hallelujah. 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 Can you never say, I'll be one of the kingdom builders? <laughs> Hallelujah. Can you never say, I'm one of the kingdom builders, which the Lord shall use in this church? Hallelujah. To impact this community with the gospel of the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So God is counting on us. Has his agent. God is counting on house of prayer as an agent of the Lord. God wants to impact this church and is counting on you, my dear dad, my dear mom, my dear brother, my dear sister. The Lord is counting on us so that the Lord can fill us with his power and anoint us now in this church so that we can rise up and do the good works of the Lord. Because the reason God created you and me is to do the good works of the Lord. Listen to this statement. When the church has the passion to do the work of God, what happens? What happens is that that church will develop a vision. That church will develop what? A vision. To know what God wants us to do. Hello? And we shall not only end up knowing what God wants us to do, but we shall also allow God to work in us to fulfill what God has called us to do here in House of Prayer. That is impact. Tell your neighbor, say that is impact. In case you did not know about impact, that is impact. That's, that's what the Lord does. Hallelujah. He's a great God. He can even count the number of our hairs. He does what no man can do. I cannot do anything which God cannot fail to do. God is great. God is powerful. Hallelujah. He wants to impact us as a church. You are a wonderful church. You are a church of impact. I have heard 
about a lot of testimonies in this church. Already I've heard from the pastor that you're going on a mission to Chief Chitimukuru. That on its own is an impact. Clap for yourselves. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> so, a church that is to make an impact, it is a church, listen to me, it is a church which inwardly, are we listening? Inwardly, that church responds obediently to the call of God. When we respond obediently to the call of God, inwardly, what happens next is that outwardly, that church shall turn to the world with a mission. What is the mission? The mission is to impact the communities where we are with the gospel of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are there to impact nations. You are there to impact villages. Lord is counting on us. We need to rise up now and let God work in us. Hallelujah. We need to begin to see through God. See through God and see the vision which God has called us to do and commit ourselves to accomplish that vision, what God has called us to do here in Canaan. When we begin to do that, then we are making an impact. We are making an impact. Tell your neighbor, say we are going somewhere. We are going somewhere. We are impacting Canaan for Jesus. Hallelujah. Shout and say I'm impacting Canaan for Jesus. We are possessing Canaan for Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise be to God. So this is what it means to become a church with an impact. There's always a starting point. And the starting point is the reign of God. Reign of God. When God begins to reign over the church, he shall even make us to understand what we're supposed to be doing in the communities where God has placed us strategically. We shall fulfill whatever God shall tell us to fulfill in the communities where we are. We need to be a church of impact. Hallelujah. We need to be a church of impact. Now Christianity is not just about talking. Christianity is not about talking. Christianity is about pro proof. Proof what, mama? Proof producing. If you are saying you are a church with an impact, then you must produce some proofs. We must produce some proofs. That's why Jesus, when he saw the multitude, he was overtaken by compassion over the multitude. All the people are following him. He did not begin to brag. He did not begin to boast and say, I, a multitude, are following me. I am a champion. I am someone in the Lord because a multitude is following me. Jesus never did that. But instead, Jesus felt what compassionate over the crowd. Why? Because there was no spiritual leadership. So a church that has an impact in the Lord. That church will have a vision. <coughs> Hallelujah. That church will take some time to empower leaders. That's why Jesus Christ, he felt compassion over the crowd. Because he saw that there was no spiritual leadership. So a church that has an impact in the church that is empowering spiritual leaders. When the pastor is not there, spiritual leaders of this church must rise up and do the works of the Lord as if the pastor is there. That is a sign that the church has an impact. Sunday school teachers you must take up your responsibilities 
Hallelujah. You do your responsibilities. My dear worship leader, you do your responsibility. My dear chairman of men's fellowship, elders in charge of executive, in charge of accounts, in charge of administration, we must rise up and take up our positions and cut out our responsibilities. When a church begins to operate in those lines, a worship leader is busy ushering people into the presence of the Lord until people begin to experience spontaneous holy reaction. Every leader takes up his what uh, resp leadership responsibilities. This one is does his work. This one does his work. This one does his work. Then if we begin to operate like that, we can say we are a church with an impact. Not a Sunday school teacher is teaching kids lies. I was telling my Sunday school teacher and my worship leader that the way you are reading, you are just guessing. You are guessing. This is not the way we read worship. No. Hallelujah. In the kingdom of God, no guesswork. You are just guessing. Guessing like a great seven. Just guessing, guessing. No. With God, we must do what is straight. So there are five things that can prove that a church has an impact. Number one, the church must have a vision. Number two, the church must have the ability to empower spiritual leaders. Number three, every member, all of us who are seated here, we must be involved in the work of ministry. Be involved. Tell your neighbor, say, be involved in the work of ministry. God needs your involvement. Number three, we must understand the principles of stewardship. Understand the principles of stewardship. That's when you can know that you have made an impact in the Lord. Get to understand. Listen to me. House of Prayer Church, the things that we have in our homes, they are not ours. They, are, they belong to God. God has just given us those things to be the stewards of those things. So I have come to adjure you now. In the name of the Lord, bring your resources unto the Lord to build house of prayer, to impact house of prayer. And the Lord will bless you. Understand the principles of stewardship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A church which has made an impact, a church whereby if they say, let us bring in the house of the Lord to support the work of the Lord. This one brings this, that one brings that. And together we put our resources together to build the work of the Lord. When the church commits itself to do that, then somebody out there, even a sinner in the outskirts of Canaan, who say, house of prayer is united. House of prayer is on fire for God. Hallelujah. Number five. A church that has an impact will not be drunk by any doctrine. They teach you false doctrine. You accept. Yes, sir. There's a prophet in Kaloko. Jesus is in Kaloko. You run. You go to Kaloko. Who told you that Jesus Christ when he comes, he will arrive in Kaloko first? That's why a church with an impact will make connections between what takes and context. You want to accept any toxin, same toxin people comes to, to teach you. You accept. No. You shall read the scriptures and contextualize them. That is a church with an impact. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why Thomas said, I will not believe until I see his cast in the hands of Jesus. It doesn't mean that he, Thomas didn't have faith. Thomas had faith in God. 
That's why I even went to India, sir, to preach the gospel. That's why when you go to India today, you find names like Thomas. Now, if he was a doubting Thomas, would you have gone to India to preach? No. Hallelujah. So we need to have faith in God. Hallelujah. We need to begin to see in our faith, in our vision, and begin to know what God has told us to do as a house of prayer church and begin to execute that now at this church and in this community as it was with Noah, as it was with Abraham, as it was with Caleb and Joshua and Jesus and Paul. If we become like those people, then we can say we are making an impact. So in this church, are we making an impact? Hallelujah. Are we making an impact? God wants our involvement. Hallelujah. God wants our involvement. Praise be to God. How many of us have, are saying we are ready to be used mighty, mighty by God in this church to make an impact in this church in the name of Jesus? In the name of Jesus, wherever you are, I want to prophesy to someone now. I can flow in any ministry you're gifting. In the name of Jesus, listen to me, church. The word of the Lord says, God is looking for a church with an impact. House of prayer. I have come to announce to you that you are a church with an impact because of the great works of the Lord that you are doing qualifies you now to be a church of an impact. God wants the church of today, the church of this season, to rise up now and begin now to bear the testimonies of the Lord in words and in deeds. That's when God shall release an overflow of his blessings over the church. I have come to announce to somebody here that gets connected to God. This is your time that you need to take a step of faith and be connected to God and stay here. Stay, remain intact in the house of prayer. This church where you are, it is a church of impact. I want to announce to you that if you are here and you are a widow, I have brought some good news to you today that get connected to God. Remain in house of prayer, a church of impact, and the Lord shall take care of you. God, the Lord takes care of the widows. He is a husband to the widows. Hallelujah. If you are here and you are an orphan, I have come to announce to you that remain intact in this church, a church of impact. And the Lord, the Father of the orphans, shall take care of you right now. I want to announce to somebody here that if your relationship has broken down, remain in this church, house of prayer, a church of impact, and God is about to mend your broken relationship in the name of Jesus. If your business was shaking, I have come to announce to you that God is going to make your business to be stable. You are going to begin to clean standards in the government. Your businesses shall flourish in the street. If you remain faithful to God and remain intact in us of prayer, a church of impact. Somebody saw that it's happening. It is happening. Hallelujah. It is happening. Hallelujah. 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 If you are here and you have been sick for so long, you are being tormented 
by sicknesses and diseases. Jesus is here in the house of prayer, the church of impact. I don't know for how long that sickness has been troubling your life, but I've come to announce to that influenza that it is going. Your sickness is going because Jesus came to heal the sick. Hallelujah. Me, I don't care when I fall sick. I don't care. I don't begin to complain that maybe I am dying. Listen, church, even complaining is a sin to God. Stop complaining. If you are here and you remain intact in this church of impact and you are a job seeker, I have come to announce to you that job Opportunity is coming your way. I can see a wind of provision blowing over the church of house of prayer. Receive your provision in the name of the Lord. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Receive your settlement. I want to announce to somebody here that if you have always been moving up and down and you have never been settling in your life, your settlement is coming. Why? Because you are in a church of impact. Hallelujah. We thank God for our pastor that he can drive. He can drive the steering rods of this church to usher this church into a church of impact. Shall we give the Lord a big applause for our pastor? He is a powerful man of God. He is driving this church to the next level of success and into the higher dimension. Shout and say, I'm blessed. We are blessed to have our pastor. Hallelujah. I have a respect for the man of God. He's very humble, very humble, and very faithful. Doing the work of the Lord faithfully. Hallelujah. That's why I'm saying he's driving this church into a church of an impact. Because I hear when I am there in a peripheral area, Kangonga, Fatima, I hear stories. I hear testimonies that house of prayer is in 40 days, prayer and fasting, 21 days, prayer and fasting. House of prayer is going on a mission trip to Kazungula. That is an impact. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbors I'm blessed. I am blessed. So now as I close, I want to challenge you, church. I want to challenge you. By the power of God, that are we a church of an impact? When are we going to make an impact in this church? Is it today or tomorrow? But our answer must be today. Tell your never said today. I will take a step of faith to make us of prayer a church of impact. Hallelujah. So whom is God going to use to make this church become impactful? Is it you or somebody? But your answer must be, it is me. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, it is me. It's me. <laughs> Hallelujah. So if we want God to use us, to make this church become impactful, what we need to do is to have the passion for the work of the Lord. Have the vision and the mission to do what God has called us to do here. And in this community. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then we shall rise up and carry out the mission of the Lord. We need to have a deeper and devotional, right and devotional relationship with the Lord. You see, God cannot use us as a church to impact the community there with the gospel of the kingdom of God. 
if we don't have gold, so we need gold in our lives. We need God in our lives. Jesus had God. So that's why he made an impact. Similarly, in like manner, we also, we need God of our lives. We need the touch of the Lord. Stop going to prophets and say, prophet, I need your touch. Ah, what and what? Papa, I need your touch. That papa will just papa you. He won't give you any touch. What we need is the touch of the Lord. When you have the touch of the Lord, then you shall rise up now and impact the communities where we are with the gospel of the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Stop coming to me and say, Pastor, I need your touch. I don't give touches. The one who must touch is God. Hallelujah. Some of you listen to me. I'm not despising men of God. You waste your time going to Nigeria looking for a touch. You go to Samuel, Samuel in Uganda looking for a touch. He can never give you any touch. What you need is a touch. Touch of God. Tell your neighbor, say, may God touch you. Hallelujah. Then you shall rise up and say, I know my God. I will never give up in fulfilling the mission of the Lord. Come challenges of my life. Come storms of my life. I will rise up now and do the works of the Lord and fulfill the mission which the Lord has called me to do here in house of prayer. That is your portion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is happening. <laughs> As I am about to close now. May God touch each and every one of us here. The power of God is moving here. I want to prophesy that there is a wind. A wind of provision that is blowing over this church. Because you are a church of impact. May you maintain your right relationship with the Lord. The Lord is going to release the overflow of his blessings of our lives. I want to prophesy to someone here that your miracle is coming. House of prayer, listen to me. Can I be allowed to step down, sir? Listen to me. Listen to me. This church, it is your upper room. It is your place of miracles. When the apostles went to the upper room, the miracle of God located in the name of Jesus. House of prayer. This is your upper room. This is your place of prayer. This is a place where you can come and be impacted in the Lord and receive a miracle from the Lord. The apostles at the upper room, they received a miracle from the Lord. A miracle is coming your way. Wherever you are, a miracle of God is locating your life. A miracle of healing, miracle of provision is locating your life because if this is your season. This is your time. Shout and say, I receive my miracle. I receive my miracle. Shall we be upstanding? Hallelujah. Shout and say, Father, 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 I can see, I can see a wind of provision. Yes, blowing, blowing over this church. Your miracle is coming. Receive your miracle in the name of Jesus. I want to speak to somebody here that if you lost a job, your job is being restored over your life. That sickness is leaving you now. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want to declare to you, Mama, that the pressure that you have gone through is too much. That pressure is bursting now. In the name of Jesus, receive your healing now. May God touch you with the touch of the Lord from above. Receive your miracle. In Jesus' mind, all of you whose businesses have been shaking today, the Lord is going to make your businesses to be stable. Hallelujah. Just begin to pray. Just begin to pray. Tell God, tell God, this is your upper room. This is your upper room. 
Pray, 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 pray. Raka sakatara mayandere, rama kasakatara ba. Tell God, tell God, tell God, tell God, tell God, tell God, tell God. To locate you with a miracle right now, in the name of Jesus. Receive your financial breakthroughs right now. Receive, receive your marriage breakthroughs right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Matter your breakthrough. Receive your spiritual breakthrough in the name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. Receive your miracle right now. Whatever you desire from the Lord, may God give you that now. May God give you that now. Receive, receive. Receive in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are, receive all that you need from the Lord of power. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Wherever you have been seen problems, the Lord has come through for you. The Lord has delivered you from that trouble. May you walk in the freedom of the Lord. In Jesus mighty name. Somebody shout and say, I have received, I have received my miracle with a lot of thanksgiving in my heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we give the Lord a big applause. God bless you so much. Amen. Hallelujah. Please take your seat. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. Are we blessed, church? Are we blessed? Give a wonderful clap offering. Just appreciate God. Just appreciate God for what he has done. As the worship team comes and take the positions for the Holy Communion, we take our tithe and offering before that. I just wanted to thank you, Pastor, for that word. Let's pray for the giving. Father, what a word. Becoming a church of an impact. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord, wherever we are.